Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. With Bubbles. Bubbles again? Yep, Saturday night play night in the Venom Garage. A Saturday night play night. Woohoo! Absolutely. Okie dokie. We're going to get our radial swipes on. Radial swipes, you say? Yes, with a twist. We always use black CA. Yeah, we do. Tonight we're going white. Okay. Just to see different effects. Why not? So let's see what happens, I reckon. Sounds like a plan. Thought you'd be up for that. All right, so that's an 8-inch MDF round. Yep. The pillow paint on it is British Paints Low Sheen Interior Wall Paint. Straight out of the can, decanted into little squirty bottles. For little hands like me. For little hands like yours. Yep. Nothing's been added. And it's just straight paint. And Wombat gets the man size. Man size <laughs> squirty bottles. All right. So, I'm going to go in with dark colours, I'm thinking. Dark colours, you say? Well, I'm thinking because, as I said, we always use black CA on these. Yeah. And I really want to see what white does. Yeah. So, I'm going to go in with dark colours so I can really highlight the white. Yeah. See, white usually gives you heaps of lacing, whereas black or Payne's grey, things like that, that gives you cells. Yeah. So that's what I thought. How cool a twist is this going to be on the radial? Yeah. I'm hoping. Then if you get <laughs> tricky and mix black, then a white over the top, you'll get a bit of both. Well, maybe you can do that uh -huh. and show the twist, and I'm going to stick with the white. Okay. So I'm just using a lot of different custom dark colours too here. Yeah. Got some gorgeous purp went right down then though, the first colour. I can see that you've made that one, it's got to have dioxazine purple in it. It does have dioxazine purple in it. And they're all eye candy pigments that are in there. Beautiful. And I thought, how different is this for a Bubbles colour palette? Now, this one's my Pebbia because I always love a tube paint in these. Yep. It's my glue so I can spin like mad. Because to me, that's the fun of the radial. You like to spin the living bejesus be out of it. Bejesus out of it. Yeah, I do. So I'm going to add a good amount of my tube paint. And that's a cool. I love the Pevio Ranger paints. They are cool. They got some mad colours. They really do. I love their iridescence. Oh, aren't they They're the bomb? Just, whoo, Bling delicious. I mean, usually I always have a Matisse in, but my Southern Ocean blue. Yep. But not today. Really? Not today. What happened? Bubbles is just going to be different today. You are, are you the same Bubbles that was here yesterday? Probably not. New personalities just entered the room. <laughs> we have lots. <laughs> Multiples. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to add, I'm thinking. Yeah. Because I do love this colour, that's the macaw. It is. But I don't want a lot. So I'm thinking I just want like a nice <laughs> little drizzle around. Yeah. Because I'm hoping, hoping, it's going to give some crazy cool effects through it. I see. Still got stuff blowing out of the roof with this wind. Yeah, we do. Just if you can just remove that stick, hun, that would be fantastic. Saved its life. I think it's already dead if it fell off the tree, hun. <laughs> yeah, well, good point. Now. Another drizzle of my darker colours over that. 
Here come the winds again. Yep. Gotta love it when it's 90 mile an hour. Oh yeah. Now, you know what I've forgotten? What's that? Hold that thought, I need my blue. And I think we're gonna rock with a bit on the floor there. <laughs> really? Nikon blue. No con blue. No con blue. No con blue. Nikon will do for me. Nikon's Place. the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no con's not. Really? Yeah, mate. You just made of me. I did. You don't get much more Aussie than that, do you? No, mate. What's worse, everyone feels sorry for me. I have three of them in the house like this. <laughs> <laughs> what I, position I, do you play? I get mated quite a bit. You do? That sounded terrible. Oh, you had to take it there. <laughs> you said it. I meant even the elder children of ours. Everything's yeah, mate. Or mum, mate. Yes. It's going to fill up my little gaps there. Not where you seem to take that then. <laughs> you troglodyte. What? That's a big word for you this time of day. Oh, read the dictionary before we come down. Did you? How was it? No, not good. All right. That is my lovely dark palette. Okay. Now, since we're walking over a bit here, we're just going to walk it back. It is walking a little, but that's all right. That'll do me. Are you going to pop your bubbles? Of course I am. Or are you going to hope for the best? No, because... <coughs> if I was doing black, I probably wouldn't care. But okay. I think with the white, I want it a bit more defined. Aha. Uh -huh. I so see. therefore, I'm gonna pop the bubbles. Now, what white is that, my dear? This is the new one you have made. Yeah. And it's white. It is white. It was a follow-up question there, or no? You, can you remember what I put in it? No idea. That is a mix of. Golden titanium white and Amsterdam titanium white mixed with Australian flow troll. As far as the ratio goes, I didn't bother going by ratios, I just went for a consistency. Oh, look at that! Now, also, I'm thinking, My being white, not the black. Goodness. I'm going to let her sit for just a few seconds before I spin her. So we can just all look at it and go, ooh. ooh. Ah. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> How's the ones? I'm pausing and wasting time. But check out that. Like, look at that. Is that crazy? That is cool. There are just that many cells there, you're just not going to sit and count them. No one got time for that. <laughs> That's crazy. But you know what else I'm noticing is really crazy cool? Because of the dark blue, dark purple, you can actually see the CA seeping into it. You can. And changing the colour of the CA, which is... Really cool for future projects, I'll be thinking. Yes, it is. So I think that, now I can see it sort of closing in on itself. So it, yep, it goes and yep. sinks. So now we've got that look going on. This is where patience comes in. You've got to just wait that little bit of time. That's why I thought we could just talk crap for a few seconds and go, yeah. <laughs> give that CA time to do its thing. Exactly. You can rush it and just spin it out and all of a sudden it doesn't look quite right. So. No, and I really wanted them to get that a bit of a defined look to it. Because now we're really going for more 
lacing than yes. define big black cell rings. Crazy lacing. But I'm actually really liking what they're doing. That would look absolutely sensational in a beach swipe. Yeah. And that's what's cool about doing these type of experiments, like step outside the box, don't use your black CA, use your white, takes you on to the next project then, doesn't it? Yeah. Dude, check that out. That's crazy. But I really wow. love those effects. Now, one of the best tricks you taught me. Yes. Especially with my impatience in the beginning of doing these things. Yeah. Swipe around the outside. Get rid of all that crazy excess paint, which we haven't got a lot, so... No, you did well. Because when I do radials too, I like to have a half-half pillow. So I spin out the whole lot first. And then add a little pillow into it. Yeah, but just sort of to the centre out about two inches. Yeah. And I find that just makes it travel out really easy for me. Yeah, it flows nice. And it just works for me. Might not work for everyone, but that's what I like. So now we can do our last spin. And we should see then if there's a lot more coming off or not much at all. See? Good to go. So I might plop him up. Look at that and look at that. that my goodness like that is super cool count the cells that's nuts i'm happy with that i hope you guys like that one because i think that is going to be some opening up for more possibilities in the venom garage yeah and that's got some color shift hidden in amongst all them colors somewhere because i can see the color change when you tilt the angle absolutely it does Wow, that's so pretty. So, we might pause there. Shall we add a flyover? I think we should we'll add a flyover. We'll do a flyover. Over. But that's crazy cool. I'll tell you what, I'm really happy I added that macaw because look at the little, it's just a yeah, slight, slight little slight ring little... that goes around. Yeah. And it sort of breaks up the composition between the dark and dark colours, doesn't it? That's super cool. I'm pretty stoked with that. That's nuts. Experiment one, pretty cool. Love it. Whoop, whoop. Not a bad selector, mate, are they? Nice job there, Wombat. Woohoo! I think maybe even next week we might have to see what it's like on beach swipes. I think so. That Definitely. Definitely. Let's see how that changes it up. All right, we'll press pause now and um, I'll do a quickie. Absolutely. All righty. Here we go. Right. What I am planning on trying here yep. is we'll use the white. Yep. But I want to try and get rainbow coloured lacing. Yeah, very cool. To see if we we'll, can get that to work today. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Let's go for the journey. Let's go for the journey. So these are Pebio tube paints that I've mixed with my Pora Medium here in Oz, which is untinted house paint. Love that orange. <clears throat> yeah, it's um, floats my boat every super time. cool. It's very cool. See, when you use neon pigments as well, yep, it will tend to soak into the white CA. Changes the colour. And changes the colour of it. Yeah, very cool. Just like we'll see and then even with the darker colours, it yeah. will slowly seep it, it. it sort of like bleeds into it. Yep, gotcha. So I don't use a lot of these, so it's good for me to learn while no. we're doing this. So one. this is a Pebio Blue Violet. Love the Pebios. I love the That's a gorgeous colour, that, man. Yeah. And I love what that does when you mix it with other colours, too. Yeah. It's one of those, isn't it? It is. I love it. Now, we're going to go with a neon pigment, which is Satin Yellow by Eye Candy. Let's 
So that, oh, she pops. Oh, yeah. It's, Sunglasses it's needed for that super, one. Super, super bright. Isn't it? But that should bleed into the white cell activator and give us yellow bits through it. Yep. Theoretically. If it all goes well. Experiment, we'll see. If it all goes to plan. That's what I love about experimenting. All right, so now we've got another tube paint. Sometimes when you're experimenting is when you come across a, um accidental stunner. Yeah. And then you can work with it from there. Like, that's how we've got some of our new best effects, isn't it? Yeah. Just by having a play. Just having a play. Seeing what does what. Go the blue. you got to mix it up, otherwise you get bored. Absolutely. I get bored very easy. You do. <laughs> I love change. That's a gorgeous colour, that It blue. is. And then we've got Pebio Green Yellow. Definitely. Now that's one of your favourites, isn't it? It is my favourite green of all time. Closely followed by, like, just a neon green. What's it called? UFO green? Yeah. Oh, and your one you get in the little ink. That McCall. Your oh, yeah. You love that. Yeah. Alright, and then we're going to finish it off with a fluoro pink. It's actually magma magenta, this, by eye candy which is another pigment. But you got a lot of tube paint in there, haven't you? And a neon one at that. Yep. So that's the thing. You don't have to, when you start now, go to the expense of, expense of just getting pigments. Like, no. You can get some brilliant Yeah, you can just use tube pigments. paints. Tube paints work really well for different things. Yeah, they do. I quite like them. Now then, I'm just debating on whether to go the big swipey tool or the little swipey tool. Go big or go home, sweetheart. Yeah. We'll go this one. That's my favourite one. That's cool. It's not a bad size. I mean, I could have put more paint down. This size you don't need to with your floater, though, do but you? No, it should spread out quite well with the floaty pillow. Yeah. And the white seems to sink pretty well too, doesn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. All right, so here we go. Angle it out a bit. Oh, them outer ones are sick. That's really cool. Right, so we'll go with that to start with. Yeah, it's cool. We'll give that time to sink. Yes. This is the part where it does take patience because you just got to watch what it's going to do for a minute. It does. So we'll let that sink, sink, sink. Look at some of these crazy little dudes here. Aren't they magnificent? They are. Look at them all. Rainbow City through there. Look how defined those cells are. In They're the nuts. white. And that's starting to pop through now. Yeah, so your yellow's doing what you said it would. Look. It starts to bleed into the cell activator. Which is crazy cool, so isn't it? When you get yeah. a close up, you can Look. see the yellow start to bleed into the cell activator. A way of getting... That's starting to get pink into the cell activator. Yeah, way to get coloured CA without using coloured CA. Yeah, so you can do that as well by using... Um, Cheat with your colours. Just all neons. Yeah. I'll tell you what I found does it too, like even when you use... Um, but with black CA, like your Senshi reds. Yeah. Your metallic sort of looking colours like that, they bleed really well too. Don't you reckon? They do. Oh, look at the pink. It looks like pink CA now. It's happening all over the place. And look how big them center cells are. It's starting to get blue in there. Yeah. Now, see, this is where ages ago, 
you would have started blowing a straw in the centre. I'm really tempted now. But look at it for me. Yeah. Like that was white 20 yeah. seconds ago. That's right. Now look at it. They're coming. It will sink. It just takes time. It's one of those waiting games, especially with whites. Gold is the worst in the world for it. Absolutely it is. It takes forever to sink, but when it does, it looks amazing. But then again, that gold CA you were making me from my swipes was just, that was instant. Yeah. That, that, was, that was a cracker. Yeah. I got lucky on that one, I think. Yeah, so that's blue. And I'd leave that because look how that's bleeding blue. Yeah. That's just crazy cool. When that spins, that's going to look amazing. So now that it's had a little bit of time, you can see the blue selectivator lines through it. Yeah. It's got pink, pink. yellow. It's a rainbow. Rainbow lacing. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's cool. Love it. Yeah, like that. <laughs> now I'm standing here going, spin, spin, spin. <laughs> you want me to spin it now? It's like we've been patient. <laughs> okay, we'll give it a spin now. All right, we'll go for the middle of the spinner. I've got to see. Oh, love this section. <laughs> I won't go too nuts. I mean, I could have put more paint down. It would have been nah. It'll a little bit in. more nuts, but nah. She'll move. Yeah, you can see her already. Look at that. Yeah, you don't have to go super fast. It'll just spread out. Do its thing. Steady, even pace wins the race. Yep. Oh. Hello. Okay, we've got a little bit more. Now, isn't this cool, though? You get to see the different effects by doing it the way you did and the way I did. Yeah. And look at the different chunk of cells you got in the middle. That's right. So, tube paints, you tend to get bigger cells. Mmm. Love that. That is just... That's gorgeous. Because it's harder for the cell activator to sink through a tube paint. I wish everyone was standing with me right now where I can see on this angle. Whereas with all pigments and only one or two tube paints in there. You also only use one. Yep. It's going to want to sink straight through where the pigments are. Yep. A lot quicker, which will give you a lot finer lacing. Which, don't get me wrong, I love the effects I got. Oh, me too. It's but gorgeous. Well, that's the thing. You can mix and match to get different effects every yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so what I usually do is scrape off that. It's a, The way I do this is just to guide so that you know roughly how much paint is going to come back off the next time you spin it to what is left on your piece. Tell you what, it was a shame to waste what was dripping off then. Oh. There were some gorgeous cells. Man, that is looking crazy. That sink beautiful. All right, so we'll give it a little bit more of a spin. It's not overly fast. It's just floating nice and gentle across the pillow. Nearly had your Bob, Bob Ross voice on then. <laughs> happy trees. Got to paint some happy trees. I love Bob Ross. And some fluffy clouds. That man's amazing. Yeah. The talent. I mean, all. Oh, Alrighty. Check out the yellow. So that's what we're rolling with. Yeah, we are. Pop that up. That's a stunner. Suction. Ooh. Suction release. All right. So then we end up with our lovely little rainbow. And you can see the cell activator has changed color. How cool is that? Like, seriously, how cool is that? I need to give you your cup back because I stole to, it. You did steal my cup. Yeah, that's wicked cool. So we'll give that a bit of a torch. And that's the beauty of using multicoloured neons underneath it. When they pop through, usually through the tube paints, you'll get different coloured cells pop up too. So That's amazing. I love this one. This is probably <laughs> one of my favourite of your radials now. But they're a load of fun to do, those. Is it even blue? Yeah, but that's the tricky way of getting different coloured lacing. Yeah. Add neons to the mix 
even if you've got um, pigments that you're using, like what you use, Nikon yeah. Blue, if yeah. you add a little bit of um, neon blue to it, yeah, and just little bits of here, little bits there in each colour, you're going to get different coloured lacing pop up because okay. the neons soak in. I need another turn now for next time. <laughs> you need another turn? <laughs> No, but that's gorgeous, honey. Love that. All right, so we're about halfway through our flyover. Have a bit of a nice close look at it. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Love the effects of that. But yeah, the sky's the limit with what you can do with um, fluid art. And what paints you use, what yep. order. Yep. You don't have to waste time with coloured CAs. You just create it in your paint. That's right, just by adding paints that will absorb into your selectivator colour. Winning. That's crazy cool. So that is us for another week. That is us for another week. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed that as much as we did. Absolutely got messy. <coughs> if you did, please hit like, share and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Thanks, Tinker Girl. That way you'll get to see all our videos as we release them. That's so damn cool. That is super cool. <laughs> All right, guys, if you've got any questions, just drop them into the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you're a member of Paint Pouring by Venom Fluid Art on Facebook, I'll be able to get back to your questions a lot quicker than what I can on YouTube. Absolutely. So, if you're not a member, join. Bubbles is always watching. Absolutely. All right, guys, that's it. So, have fun. Take care, and, and we'll, we'll see, see you in the, in the next, next one. one. Bye for now. Have a fantastic day.